and welcome back to my channel. It's me, Janisha Stanley again. And today, I'm going to review the book, I Survived the Destruction of Pompeii, AD 79. This book was written by Lauren Tarshish and illustrated by Scott Dawson. This book has 15 chapters and 95 pages. So, what is this story about? Well, this story is about the destruction of Pompeii, or a city in, in the country of Italy, which is now completely destroyed and buried. So, remember this, the characters are fake, but the city and the disaster are real. So, it starts with this boy named Marcus and his dad, who he calls Tata. So, they were caught in the middle of a giant volcanic eruption of Mount Vesuvius. As in the picture, you can see that right here. All of the lava is coming up. And Marcus and Tata will have to escape. Fiery ash and hardened rocks of ash are falling everywhere. The rocks come from the sky like rain, and the ash turns the day to night. Will they escape? That's what this story is all about. So, Pompeii is a, is a giant city that is an important one because it is part of a big kingdom called the Roman Empire. So lots of Roman citizens have been there. So, Marcus was a slave boy. He was carrying his master's clothes. He had to wash them. There was also a giant parade that went on. So, the guy who arranged this parade is called the Lanista. So, this, this giant gladiator came walking by. Then, his name is Cyclops. Do you know? That is his battle name. Everyone shouted and hooted, There's Cyclops! Whenever everyone went silent and still, whenever the next four men walked by, he saw some familiar eyes. He saw a familiar face, and then they were like, could it be Tata? Then he ran to him. Then Tata ran to Marcus. Then they hugged each other. Whenever the Lanista saw them, they were like, what is this? How dare you stop my parade? Then the guards took him away. So then he went by, grabbing the basket, a basket with a snake in it. Whenever he, the snake was aimed right at the Lanista, Marcus flung the lid open and out the snake came. Then it struck the Lanista in the chest and ran down. The Lanista scream hypnotized everybody to look at the sight of that snake and the Lanista. Then Marcus took off the toga and said, Tata, it's me. Then they got, they had to ride a horse to get away because they can't just run away. It would be way too hard. Then they went up the mountain Vesuvius. Then they smelled something super disgusting. Then Tata was like, Marcus, the air has gone bad. We gotta get down the map. We gotta get down. So, they were all so thirsty. Whenever they looked for some streams to drink water, they saw that the places the streams were in, they were all dried up. They never knew where to find any water, but they managed to find one stream that was still running. Then they drank some, they tried to drink some water in there, but it tasted so bad, they weren't even able to swallow the water down. So then, they did it. Peg never even dared herself to even go near that water, because she hadn't even have a, had a drink since the, the night before. So then, a while later, boom, a giant explosion came. They had to warn the people of Pompeii, Tata said. But then, they hopped on Peg, ran right down the mountain, because lava and lots of ash were coming after them. So then they made it to Pompeii. They entered a spot called the Forum. One of the most powerful people in Pompeii came near. Whenever I'm like, Sir, there was a bad volcanic eruption over there. We need to get everyone to safety before we all die in, in the volcano's tracks. Whenever they're like, Then he said, How much time do we have? A couple hours at least, Tata said, whenever they all started running away. It was really hard for them all to get through that giant crowd. There were rich men, mothers with babies, kids clutching to their robes. There were also people piling up lots of their stuff. Lots of hardened ash came falling. Tata caught some in his hand. Hardened ash, he said. Some hardened ash smacked Tata in the head and he fell down on some rocks. Then, Tata, wake up! Whenever they were like, 
Lucas, I can't. I don't know if I'll make it to the gates or not, but at least you have a chance. Then there was a groove in the floor. Marcus picked it up and said, a trap door. Then Tata got up and both of them got down that trap door. Then Tata said, it's a tunnel that will take us out. Some tunnels lead out of the city. People in battles use, that, use those tunnels to get out in an enemy attack. Whenever the, so then they made it out of the town. Then since Peg was waiting right there, they got on Peg. Then they waited, then they looked on the bright side for the bright lights of Rome. So whenever they were riding away from Pompeii, they looked back and saw Pompeii, their precious town, was being covered in ash and rock. So what exactly is the status of this destructive volcano? Well, right now it is completely quiet, so which, it me which means it is dormant. Has the volcano erupted? Why, yes, it has erupted dozens of times over the centuries. And also, now over two million people are living in the, in the red danger zone around the volcano. But now, if since we have lots of advanced technologies, we can detect if the volcano is going to erupt again, we'll have plenty of time to evacuate that spot. So it's going to be easier. So everyone go and read this book to learn more about the eruption of Mount Vesuvius and the destruction of Pompeii and an epic story of how a boy and his dad escape from one of the most epic destructions of all time. Friends, thanks for watching my videos. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe to my channel to stay tuned in on my new videos. I'll fly over to my next video. See you there.